Welcome back Flex Squad. Today we're gonna to be making something special in the lab. Today's laboratory experiment is gonna be making bouncy balls out of silicone, straight from scratch. We're gonna be making our own out of this silicone right here. This has been highly demanded, highly requested. Everybody's been asking me about it, every, even though it's been nobody, but I feel like it's been highly requested, all right? So I'm gonna make this for you guys and we're gonna get right to it right now. So this is what you guys need. You need 100% clear silicone. You see that right here? It's silicone, it's clear. It's gotta be, make sure it's transparent because then it won't take any of the food coloring. So that's the next thing you need. You need food coloring. Pick your choice, pick your colors, whatever you got. We got a couple colors here. We'll decide which color we want to do. Comment down below which color you guys want to see. Then you need two bowls that you're gonna end up throwing out because you don't want to use anything that uh, this can stick on and ruin. And your parents are gonna kick your ass and beat you to death. That escalated quickly or until you pay them for the bowls that you ruined. And then you need a big bag of pure Colombian 100% coca, uh, cornstarch, Colombian cornstarch. So first thing you wanna do when you're doing this experiment is you wanna cut off the silicone tip. We already did that. You, what color do you wanna put? Uh, blue. We got blue already. Right. Good, that's the one in my hand. We're gonna make blue balls today. So okay, what we're gonna do right now is put the coloring in the bowl, just like this. Put a couple a couple drops. The more drops you put, the more color you're gonna have in it. All right. Then you're gonna put a bit, don't put too much, just put a bit of silicone. Slowly squirt it out, but mm, it's a little hard. I'm gonna use something to push it down. Push it, push it, push it. <sighs> All right guys, we're gonna try to squirt this out and we'll be right back after these few seconds. A few inches later. So now we got it. We got ourselves enough silicone in the bowl right here. We're gonna add a little more coloring right on top just to make sure we got some sexy blue balls going on. Use anything, I'm just gonna use this right here to mix it up all together because I don't want to get this on my hands. Gonna do some more of this. Now let's get it. <laughs> Are the noises necessary? <laughs> you know, I'm really out of breath, man. <laughs> Alright, so we're just gonna add a little more coloring to this right here. Okay, we gotta work fast now because we don't want the silicone to start drying on us. Because as soon as it dries, it's not gonna be taking in any more color. Just wanna mix this up quick, as fast as you can. And then you wanna get yourself your, uh, your Colombian cornstarch, man. You wanna get it, you wanna put it in the other bowl? The Colombian stuff? Put it like that. Okay, man. Put a little bowl in the middle. Make a hole in the bowl. And you wanna bring your silicone, your color, color silicone into the cornstarch. Okay. You wanna mix this puppy up real good till it's not sticking on you anymore. You'll basically just mix it all together like this. Put it all inside out. Look, it's not sticking on me, that's perfect. I'm just gonna mix all the silicone in. We're gonna mix this up until we don't see any more of the uh, the cornstarch. Until it's not sticky anymore, just gotta add a little more just on top like that. See how beautiful that blue is? It actually like looks pretty sick. It's crazy. Kinda wanna touch it. Kinda wanna touch it. So what you guys wanna do next is make sure this is as round as possible because when it's, if it's not round, it's gonna be bouncing in random ass directions. So you wanna keep it round, so it's a real bouncy ball. Look, look at this beautiful, how round it is. Look at that. So what you wanna do now is just let this puppy sit for about like five minutes, let it dry. And once it dries, it's gonna be bouncing all over. All right, yo. We finally got this thing ready to go. It's perfect, it's sphere, it's shiny. Let's find out if it bounces right now. Whoa, sell that bouncy ball. Listen up guys, this thing right here, this bounces at 65,000 horsepower, angulated at the, at the speed of light, gravitational pull, 65,000 horsepower, 45 amp power, rotational engines, uh, configurations, and, and spherical uh, powers. Get this thing right now for 45, for 99. So now that you guys all want one, let's find out if this baby bounces. Let's get it. Woo! Well, 
<laughs> it goes higher. Okay, so it's not gonna break any roofs or anything, but you know what? This baby does bounce, all right? If you guys aren't happy with this, it's like you're gonna be playing basketball with it or anything. You're just gonna be bouncing around. You're sitting in class, you know, you're bored. Look how fun it is. And it cost me virtually nothing, and I have the pleasure of knowing that I made this with my own two hands. I got blue balls by myself without anybody's help. How does that feel? Doesn't that just feel amazing? Amazing. I feel wonderful just playing with my blue balls, with, with one of my blue balls. I'm gonna make you guys a deal. If we can get this video up to 100 likes, if you wanna go down and like this video right now, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. If we get at least 100 likes, we're gonna be burning it and cutting it in half. With this hot knife, it's gonna be over 10,000 million degrees. And this is gonna be cut right in half. We're gonna see what, what's inside of this ball. Go smack that like button right now. Leave me a comment down below what do you wanna see next. We might be making some Lego Jellos, so you guys wanna be a part of that. Smack that like button, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.